here with a fanatic shaper, Sebastian Wenzel, and our product manager, Danny Abley. Um, Sebastian, these boards look a little bit smaller. Kids boards, perhaps? Yeah, they are quite a bit smaller. We have two kids boards here, a 710, sort of all-round wave board, and a race board, actually, as well. They look really nice and soft and forgiving. I guess that's perfect for kids. Yeah, it is actually. Uh, they're very safe for them to use. You know, when they bang around, fall off, climb up the board, they won't hurt themselves. It's all nice and soft. You really can't ding the, the rail into the head or whatever happens. So it's really cool under the safety aspect. But on top of that, for them, very easy to transport. You know, you can um, put the boards in the backpack, hop on your bike, go down to the lake, to the ocean, wherever you are. Uh, pump it up and go. They feel really light too. I mean, I guess that's ideal, isn't it? So the kids can carry them around themselves. Yeah, glad that you pointed that out. This is really important. We wanted to make a light board. That's why this one is the stringer technology. It's important for the kids that the boards are not heavy. So they're yet durable enough, but light. So the perfect combination. And how about the race board? Is that kicking off as a series? Well, imagine this, there's a lot of people racing. If you go to a race like uh, the Battle of the Pedal, there's eight, nine hundred people racing. And I'm sure they're not all without kids, so there's a lot of kids around. And they don't want to sit on the beach watching their parents race, so they want to play as well. And there's already races in that class, kids class, so this is the perfect tool for them. They can train on this, it's safe again, even when they bang on the course, no problem. And Danny, is this the same double layer technology that we have on the other fly race boards? Yeah, you're right. We learned from the technology from the racing boards. So as the kids want a light board, the lightest possible board, and also competitive stiff board, this is the best technology we can offer for it. You can see we also got the deck net, yeah. like on all the race boards, the comfortable handle, proper fin to it. So it's a perfect board to start racing for the kids. Sounds like a great package. What's that you got there, Danny? That's our new backpack. All the inflatables featuring a new backpack we made. We want to make sure Max looks posh on the beach. Looks great. So this is it. Got all the toys. Can place all the features in it. So Can I should, try it on? Yeah, you're just wear it. Have a look. So you got those super comfortable new straps. Then you got adjustments. You have a belt down here. So the whole backpack stays in balance a bit better. Just wrap it on like that. My friend in Switzerland even does tours and hiking with that one. Feels great. So you got, let's turn around Max, you got all the features like here. You can carry it on the side, you can strap them on a bit more, they are more compact. Then you have here the pump pocket featuring some spare ones if you want to put some maps or whatever. Then you have your fin pocket here where we store our fin. And on the side you have the option to put your three-piece pedal or even normal pedal if you want. And on the top you just have a big zip and you put your SUP in there and you just off you go. Great. So this is our new double action pump. It's brand new. As you see... What does double action mean? Double action is kind of simple. You have for the beginning to put some pressure in your board. You have double stroke. So you have going up, you have action, going down, you have action. Okay. As soon as you have a certain pressure on it, you can re remove that clip up here and then you have single action. So that's just for the final few. And that's just for bumps, the final yeah. few. So you have to reach those 15 PSI. So somehow you have to get the power, especially for kids and girls. It's almost impossible with the old pump to get the, the pressure in those boards. So this even got going to help you. And how hard can I pump it up? Uh... I mean, we say about 15 psi is the best. You can pump them up to, to 20 if you want to. There is a nice little gauge up here where you can see all the psi. It's nice covered into the plastic of the pump. So it's much more durable than on our previous uh, pumps. So I think great innovation. What Look, do you think? Looks great. For sure. The blue board's got the blue bag. It's a very similar bag to the, to the premium one we have. So this is a bit of a different pump than the the premium one. Okay. It's also a Bravo pump, which is like the the latest development on the market and the best pump you can get at the moment. It's a high pressure pump, so also here it's easy to to reach the maximum those 15 psi, even for your girlfriend, easy to pump. Those are the pockets. As I mentioned before, look, there is the the fin pocket here. You can place your fin in there, so it's nice and safe for your travel. 
And what's this screw about? So Max, with this screw, you don't need any tools. So you just can go to the beach, put it right away on your board and off you go.